pretty deadly in the right circumstances. And now SK will lock in the Silas mid for blue. Okay, so this Braun ban from SK was very good. Because the well, bottom was thinking... side, oh, that was very wide, Hans. I'm looking wise, to try yeah. and catch him out as the Rift Held continues to go lower. Inspired knockback there, Rift Held just hit the ice, smited away. Who got it? I think it may have been Treats. Lilith gets the knockback there, it's Inspired. First blood comes out. Blue will kill Trimby. Both Trimby and Lilip roaming around the map looking for kills in other lanes. Janex is going to try and chase Odawamne here, but Inspired is in the right place once again. Showstopper comes out. Janex is going to flash. Flash Spectral more and goodbye set. Odawamne secures the kill. Uh, but it ends up backfiring, and so that's going to cost Janex his flash. Going to cost him his CP. But SK will get this kind of hovering around mid, so while they will have mid prior, the likelihood is here is that they will just get punished. But it pops the unbreakable will and immediately to step forward. Treats working with Lilip there. The sweeper, as you said, not available really for a Sin unless you want to lose one in total control of the game. Can lead to you losing out on XP and gold because you're funneling minions into the enemy. But taking the inhibitor tower does not do that, Betty. Exactly that. I think that. Ooh, hang on, here we go. Showstopper. Treats looking for the kick as well. Odawamne trying to get away. The Hallowed Miss will follow him. Treats still chasing forward. Odawamne escapes the ghost. Paying dividends. Oh, true shot, true shot, true shot, true shot. Oh, it's wide. Yep. Just barely able to get away with his life. Odo Omne. The crazy thing is he still had two charges of his ultimate left. He still had the three and the five stacks of his needles, which gives so much health back if he's able to connect them. I think it was to protect. Oh, was it to protect the ward? Yeah, okay. the control ward in the brush. My only other thought was Lilith not having ultimate can mean that he is shredded through in fights. Streets going in here, inspired. Whoa, okay, Lilith's gone. <laughs> That's some Wagyu beef for you right there. Inspired will kill off Treats as well, and now the flank is on. Jezu has Flash, has healed. Does he have anywhere to get out? There's the first Arcane Shift into a Mystic Shot. He's going to keep chasing away, dodged away from the Spectral Maul. Still has that Flash as the Blast going for him. He's going to get to it. And Rogue don't really have the chase tools as Inspired flashes in. Another Arcane Shift, though, from Jezu will get him to safety. I just kind of feel like... Inspired is really strong. Let's see, one versus two. Yeah, Treats and Lilith working well together here. Show, uh, the Heartseeker, Heartbreaker, sorry, coming out from Inspired. Blue looking to go in. There's the hijack chain of corruption immediately used. Counter chain coming out. Sonya's away from the Shockwave, but it's not enough. And now Odawamne is in a great position on the flank. Showstopper coming out from Gen X, but they dive straight onto Jezu. Odawamne putting needle after needle into SK. There's three kills already. And Larson and Hans Summer are not done at three. They can count one more. It's four for Rogue. And just does like have Flash, does have Smite, but he also has a massive anchor in his face. Chain of Corruption goes wide. Treats looking for it. Sonic Wave going in, but Rogue just dis distract, distract, dissuade, and then turn back on as soon as the Sonic Wave expires. There's the Baron, and Treats has nowhere to go. Flash kick. Larson misses there with the command attack. Trimby low on mana. Treats might go. Uses his ultimate to create a gap, and then watch here. Trimby throws his hook out to act as a shield, a body He's tanking bomb. up three members. Level 14, I believe one of the highest levels in the game, and is able to walk out of that one completely unscathed. Very clean fight from the side of Rogue. Oh, we didn't even mention Han Sama, but as you can see, damage. <laughs> Kind of uh, virus things there from Han Summer. As we said, the dust blade already complete. There's another tower going down for Rogue. Seven on the scoreboard, yet to concede a one. Lilip is looking for a flank and a half, but he seems to have lost the rest of the herd as they are looking for Inspired in the mid lane. In a 1v3, can Viego still get out alive? The answer is well and truly yes. Lilip, though, still looking for the flank instead, engages on Han Summer, but. Oh, Lilip. Go to pastures new, my friend. Han Summer will kill him. Very efficient as uh, Odoame gets collapsed on once again. But who collapses who, I wonder? <laughs> At the moment, Blue is the one who has been collapsed. You're not locked in. Uh, I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. As uh, Stopwatch comes out from Odoame. Not sure that was necessary, but it's still going to be OK as they take down the uh, three inhibitors that are left. Great hook there onto Jezu. He will arcane shift away. There's the chain of corruption. And Genax even through the shield. <laughs> Larson will kill him up. And Summer not satisfied with one will get another. As Lilith falls at once again. Rogue on the Nexus Towers. And SK on the fountain. <laughs> Great mechanics there from Treats, but mechanics is all he has right now as he will fall. Only Jezu left alive and Rogue are not done with this game yet. Jezu with the true top of will not get through at the stopwatch from Trimby. Inspired chasing Jezu back to the fountain. Rogue now on the last Nexus Towers, and the Nexus will follow. Rogue with their sixth win of the season.
as they tie Misfits on that score. From start to finish, clean 